This is a demonstration video of the SW38 four-stroke medium-speed diesel engine in which the dismantling and mounting procedures of the main components are presented. Please note that this video is only informative and that the exact procedures and data are defined in the instruction manual. Before you start with maintenance work, please take care of the following security measures. Close the starting air stop valve. Before dismantling, check that all pipe systems concerned are drained or pressure released. Engage the turning gear. Open the indicator cocks. This is a look at the necessary special tools for the dismantling of the cylinder head. Carrier with jacks, lifting tool, protecting ring, torque wrench, and pneumatic hydraulic pump. Start by dismantling the cooling water discharge pipe before removing the cylinder head cover. This is in order to prevent a mixture of the draining water with lubricating oil. Subsequently, remove the cylinder head cover. Turn the cylinder in question in top dead center combustion and check if the push rods are loose. Disconnect the plug of the exhaust valve temperature monitoring system. Now carefully remove the thermocouple of the exhaust temperature system. Take care not to distort the thermocouple while pulling it out. In order to remove the upper half of the clamping ring of the exhaust gas piping, four socket head screws have to be loosened and removed. Next to the connection of the exhaust piping, the inlet air bend is located. Here only four bolts have to be removed. We continue with dismantling at the operating side of the engine. Begin with removing the high pressure fuel line. First remove the fuel drain pipe of the high pressure fuel line. After that, unscrew the union nuts from the pump and the injector. Now remove the remaining pipes to and from the cylinder head. First, fuel leakage pipe. Second, the main lube oil supply pipe. And third, the pilot air pipe. Immediately after removal of these pipes, all openings should be covered. Before placing the hydraulic stretching tools, Make sure that the screw thread of the cylinder head studs are undamaged and clean. Connect the hydraulic stretching tools with the pump by means of the high pressure hoses. 
Only two jacks are connected because the other two jacks are linked up. After connecting the hoses, check if the jacks are in bottom position. Then, the jacks are turned back one turn. Close the return valve on the pump. Set the prescribed hydraulic pressure as specified in the instruction manual by means of the reducing valve. The read-off value on the air pressure gauge indicates 10% more pressure than the real value read off on the oil pressure gauge. This has been done for safety reasons. Start the hydraulic pump by opening the air supply valve. At the same time, check at what pressure the nuts come loose. Turn back the nuts with a special pin and lower the hydraulic pressure. In case it is not possible to turn the nuts when the prescribed pressure has been reached, one needs to check with a feeler gauge if the nut is free from the surface. Disconnect the hoses, remove the jacks from the studs and check if the nuts are loose. In order to prevent damaging of the removed cylinder head nuts, it is recommended to turn them on the studs of the nearest cylinder head. Subsequently, place the special lifting tool. For this purpose, three M16 threaded holes are provided in the cylinder head. Lift the cylinder head a bit so that the possible leaking water will flow to the outside of the cylinder liner. Pull the push rod protecting pipes out of the cylinder head, in case they stick inside. Check if the starting air connecting pipe stays in its place. Hold both the push rods until the cylinder head has been completely removed. This is in order to avoid possible damage. Take away the O-ring and place the distance ring. This protecting ring prevents the gas sealing face from damaging when the cylinder head is placed directly on the floor. Remove both the push rods and the protecting pipes. Close the openings in the engine block to prevent dirt entering the camshaft space. Finally, remove the gas sealing ring and cover the cylinder liner.